and the very top one is iOS app. If I click that link, what it's going to do is it's going to bring me into the iOS app store and I'm going to be able to download this browser, this DuckDuckGo browser. The best thing about the mobile platform is that they do have full-fledged browser apps that you can use. So now that I have this DuckDuckGo browser, I'm going to click open and then I'm going to walk through kind of the setup it's going to let me know, hey, the internet can be kind of creepy. Not to worry, searching and browsing privately is easier than you think. Let's do this. I'm going to skip it because I don't want to set up as a default browser. Now let's just check out one of the sites I like. Let's check out Reddit. All right, it looks like Google and Amazon were trying to track us there. Sweet. So now I can click up in the top where it says the B, the letter B, and that's going to give me the DuckDuckGo rating on this. So we can click on three trackers and see who exactly was actually tracking us. And we can go and see that Reddit was actually enhanced from a D to a B by using DuckDuckGo. Um, the awesome thing about mobile, if I click done, this little fire icon. So now what I can do is I can click this fire icon and it's just going to wipe all history, everything else during this session. I want to click close tabs, wipe it all. Boom. So now I know that my session with DuckDuckGo was cleared out and I am good to go. And now I just, anytime I want to do private searching, and research i can just use the mobile app on my phone all right so now let's set it up for each of the browsers i'm going to do safari microsoft edge firefox and chrome so let's start with safari and we're going to click on the link that i have in there these links will be down in the video description Click on download and we're going to get this. On the Mac, it does require Mac OS Catalina 10.15 and Safari 13 and later. I'm going to click open. And we're going to click enable, which is going to open up the extensions pane in Safari. And I need to enable both of these. In order for this to work, I'm going to click turn on. And now we're going to go click on search just to see. Okay, DuckDuckGo is set as my search engine. And now I am going to go back to DuckDuckGo. We're enabled. Perfect. And as you can see, I can close this app out now. I've got the B up there if I click on that I can see I wasn't tracked by anything and I've got the protections in place this protects us from online tracking ads etc this doesn't keep like all my history clear and all of that right like you saw on the the mobile device app there is no fire icon that I can click but what I can do is I can use what's called private window uh, or incognito window, right? With each of the browsers, they all have these. So if I click on new private window, I'm basically getting double the protection because I'm, I'm not saving anything locally, no history, no nothing, and I'm being protected with all of my online use, right? So it's awesome. So now if I go and I just, I want taco. All right, so we want tacos. And you'll notice when I'm searching, I've got the DuckDuckGo search engine icon up in the left-hand side. I have no targeted ads towards me that are creeping for no reason. Oh, one thing to notice is that with all the browsers, when you go into private mode, um, they're gonna either have an icon that shows that it's in private mode, 
or it's going to be Safari, which doesn't have an icon, it basically changes what the, the URL bar looks like. So if you look at this other one, and I click in there, you notice that it's not black. So this is not a private window. If I go back to this one, this one is a private window. So that's how you're going to tell when your private windows are open. The other thing is, is within each of the apps that I'm going to show, if I create a new tab in that same window, that tab is also going to be in incognito mode or a private window. If I want to get rid of DuckDuckGo, I need to basically go into, hold on here, and open this guy up, and I'm going to click on enable. I need to come in here, I need to uncheck these two, right? Then I need to go back to this app. I got to quit the app and watch this window. This is how you remove it from Safari. I'm going to go back to the finder. You're going to see me delete the DuckDuckGo app. And you're going to see the extensions disappear immediately and it is removed from Safari. All right, now that Safari is done, we're going to set up Microsoft Edge next. All right. And we are going to go back to Safari. Close out that window. I need to copy this URL. So underneath here, I'm going to copy this URL for Microsoft Edge. Come back to that browser. And we're going to click Get for DuckDuckGo. We want to add the extension. And then it's going to say, how do I turn on this extension? And that's because it's not enabled by default. So we're going to click on the three dots and go down to extensions. And we need to click enable. Immediately, you're going to see that it pops up. And it's now encrypting the connection. It doesn't have any trackers. And it's all set up. So now if we want to do a private window within Microsoft Edge, you're going to click new private window but what you're gonna notice in in Microsoft Edge is one this window is black two you're gonna have this in private uh, icon over here three you don't notice the DuckDuckGo icon it is not there you don't see it at all if I go and I do a search I want tacos It's still using the DuckDuckGo browser. It's tough to say, but I do believe it is working as intended. Um, it just doesn't have the DuckDuckGo icon. It doesn't show. All right, let me just close out this window. And if I want to remove DuckDuckGo, I can come down here, click on extensions, click on this guy here, and click remove from. Microsoft Edge and boom it is removed all right now let's jam out Firefox you got to go back to Safari to copy the link here is the Firefox link we're gonna copy that guy go back over to Firefox and we're gonna click add to Firefox gonna click add and on this one, we have to click allow this extension to run in private windows. We definitely want to click that. So let's click OK on this. All right, we saw DuckDuckGo icon pop up. And what we can do now is Firefox new private window. And you're going to notice that Firefox has the nice little purple circle with the mask showing you that you're in a private window. Um, so nothing's being stored on the device in terms of history, cache files, any of that stuff. And we also have DuckDuckGo installed. So if I want to remove DuckDuckGo from this device, I need to click on Add-on and Themes. Click on 
managed extensions I click these three dots right here and I just click remove and no we don't want to report it boom now it's removed from my Firefox and that is all done now let's go take care of Chrome Google Chrome and we're gonna click copy link back to Google Chrome and add to Chrome add extension Chrome's got something a little bit different um, you're gonna notice it installed but nothing popped up there at all so you got to click on this little extensions icon and you're gonna see it right here you got to click this little pin to pin it into this area so that you'll always see it so now I've got it pinned so I'm always able to see it I can click on it it's working and then I can go up here and I can do new incognito window if I click on that guy there you're gonna notice that I have an incognito window you're not seeing the DuckDuckGo icon let me just type something in and to eat tacos I'm going to click keep it so if I want to remove it from Chrome I just come up here click on extensions click on the three dots right here click remove from Chrome and we are back to square one hopefully you guys got some good value out of this video man throw it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed definitely get subscribed it helps me out a ton i really truly appreciate it keep the questions coming in the comments i'll try to answer when i can and please if you have video ideas definitely leave them in the comments as well you guys have an amazing day take care and i'll see you in the next video